Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. Before we can start, we have to discuss some basics. For example, what is electrical energy? Electrical energy is always when we have a potential difference of electrons from the one space to the other. For example, in a battery, there we have the we have these two different spaces, and on the one side there is there are more electrons than on the other side, and this is called a potential difference. Um, the potential difference influences the speed of the electrons. If we would connect the two spaces with a conductor, for example a wire, then the electrons will try to balance themselves from the one side to the other. And this potential difference defines the speed of the electrons. So the higher the potential difference is, the faster the electrons will be, and this is what we call the voltage. On the other hand, the resistance of this little circuit we built influences the amount of the electrons which will move from the one side to the other. And this amount of electrons is called the current. The electrical power, and this is actually what is interesting for us, is a voltage by the current. This little display will show the power in our circuit. So we have a average amount of electrons and we have an average speed of electrons. So the voltage and the current is in a medium level. Power again is voltage by current. If we take a look here then these are very fast moving electrons though the voltage is very high. On the other hand, the current is very low because there are only a few electrons on their way. What would mean voltage by current, the power is equal to the first example. In the second example, we have a high current. There are a lot of electrons on their way, but they are very slow, so the voltage is low. Again, the power is equal to the first two examples. That's easy, isn't it? Right, so now we can discuss a circuit. This here is a circuit. We have a battery, what is our power source. We have a button over here, which can close the circuit. And we have a light. In that case, it is an LED. Okay, so our current goes from the plus to the minus, and this is the direction. Some components, by the way, have to be placed in the right direction, like the LED. This little schematic symbol shows the direction with this little arrow here. We can arrange electrical components in different ways. For example, in a series circuit, which is even called a voltage dividing circuit. It's called voltage dividing because each part, if they have the same inner resistor, will um, get the same voltage. So if our circuit has 6 volt, then they share the 6 volt so that each LED will get 2 volts. The current in this um, kind of circuit is everywhere equal. The other example or the other possibility for us is a parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit um, the, the parallel circuit is even called the current dividing circuit. What means that if each LED here lets 20 milliamps through, the whole amount of current in the circuit will be 60 milliamps. The voltage is everywhere equal. This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. 
For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc/forum. Thanks for watching.